craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Hmm. Craziest rumor. What would be the craziest rumor? Oh, the craziest rumor would be that I got my that I got something done to my face. I've never had plastic surgery done to my face. My lips are my lips. My nose is my nose. My eyes is my eyes. <laughs> now, previously in another portion of questions with you, you were asked what have you done cosmetically mm -hmm. and you provided those answers at that mm -hmm. point of time. Mm -hmm. Has anything else changed since that portion of questions cosmetically with you? Nope, still boobs and teeth. And when it comes to the face and people thinking you've had some sort of cosmetic procedure to the face, mm -hmm. is this something you've publicly addressed already or is this the first time? This is the first time because I didn't feel like I needed to address it. <laughs> my face has always been my face. I don't know. Now, what is your policy on rumors, generally speaking? Mm -hmm. Are you the type that clears them up and addresses them or sweep them under the rug and let people talk? It depends on how big, the, how deep the rumor is. Like if it's like saying that I lied about something, I feel like I should address it. But if it's something petty like, oh, her face went down, I don't feel like I need to address that. Before this interview ends, is there anything else you are not asked? Fans want to know? People want to know? Is there anything you want to address while you're here? Anything else you didn't get a chance to mention, you'd like to mention now. Don't believe social media rumors. Believe it directly from the source. If you have any questions about anything in regards to a person, make sure you wait till you hear that person address it because blogs are just clickbait. They make up anything and then when you have someone or people who are against you, they make up lies to make them look better. So just always wait for the source to say something. Don't just automatically believe what is put out there because you never know the real story from other people and bloggers who doesn't who don't who don't know that person. And I also want to say for social media influencers, please be mindful because you don't know the things that you're saying you, that may hurt a person. We are still human. We are no different from you guys. We, we use the bathroom the same, we eat the same, we have feelings, we are all human. So please always remember when commenting negative things and trying to bully people on the internet, just remember that that person is human too, just like you. And I understand that hurt people hurt people, but just take some time out and go heal. Go focus on your healing because you don't know what that person is going through through those lenses that you're looking at. Anything else, and not just specifically on social media, but generally mm -hmm. speaking here? No, that's it. Any loose ends you want to tie from this interview with the previous topics you were asked? Anything you failed to speak on? Anything needs further clarification from what was said in this interview? No. Any final words? Um, stay positive, stay uplifting, encourage one another, and always remember we can do this together instead of trying to be opponents, instead of being in competition, we can all win as one. Let's stop trying to compete, let's stop hating on each other, and let us all just live and do our own thing. One love.